should have been played yesterday. And they lead the pack without this game. So should they win this game, they will go in front of the University of the West Indies um, by four points. Ricardo Oldham, the winner, went away and came back. He's looking good, scored against University. Nine goals in the last two games for Arnett. And here's Montego Bay. Some of the um, players have come back. See Matt Bain, Adel Ritchie called to the national team. Nicholas Amponsa. And he's from Ghana. Played in the very first game against Hatha Quickly, I think. If that in, in, in fact was so. So they play like a 4-2-3-1 formation with the American Rod to Curlew. So we're seeing some names. Matt Bain on that far side. This is the national player, Richie. He gets it back to Giacomino Barrett, the left-footed player. Easy for him to get it across to Nicholas Amponsa. And the man from Ghana. And Hugh uh, Stewart and Afiba Chambers scoring for Reno. They won 3 0 over Portmore and University of the West Indies going down 1 0 to Harbour View. Michael Lutas early in the game, the only goal of the game. And that all happened. The man wearing the number 19 shirt, Tamar Edwards, seen him for the first time this season. Lydia Ritchie. Very confident. Attitude of Fabian Reed as a striker. Yep. Since last year, I saw him for the first time. Richie to Amponsa. Back to Lede Richie. Punch, as we said, played in that first game of the season against Harbour View. To Reed, he might have a shot. Curlew comes and breaks it up. Amponsa. We're at Arnett once again. It's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a football stadium. It's a nice, nice stadium. Really is. Um, yep. It, it reminds me somewhat of the stadium that we see in some parts of Central America. Yeah, it's a football stadium. You're not seeing the, the, the track around it or anything like that. Here's Amponsa. The surface a little bit heavy. And, uh, you see the lines. Where are you going? But there Richie gets it from his captain. This is Amponsa. Nicolas Amponsa. Montego Bay. Playing with a some composure. Here they come once again. This is Montego Bay. Got a message from one of my friends in the officiating business and the suggestion that it, it should have been a penalty. A bad start. Well, it wasn't a great one, but uh, victories in the, the last couple of games. Here's Reed. Arnett guards up against Montego Bay. It's a great pass. Good move from Keneal Hyde. Great pass from Fabian. Out of midfield from Arnett guards there was really, really good. And it was a bit of fortune for Montego Bay United because the tackles were not um, decent, really and truly. Morgan. Hyde. Back to Johnson. Johnson was trying to get it to Fabian Reed and Ponsa. One against the University of the West Indies and five nothing against Waterhouse. Waterhouse, Admiral Bailey, and everything. Not too many of our clubs can offer what they're getting here. And Ponsa. Back to change last season, but you have a playoff. And Montego Bay made the playoffs, but they never made. The semi-final and Ponsa. Come from what I saw initially. Now we're going to see the replays here. I wonder why Amponsa did just head the ball back to him. Yeah, that's a headbutt. Yes, he did headbutt him. That's a headbutt. He's lucky he's still on the park, truth be told. Very, very lucky. The goal with the ball in his hand. Here's Russell. It'll official the referee that was very very interesting so martin was shown a yellow also so miss hamilton in this her sixth game now with nine yellow cards she hasn't shown picking up in the last three games. They've won two, they've tied one. Arnett Grimes stays in by Stewart, comes all the way back to Amponsa. 
has the Dale Richie to his left. He gets it to him immediately. Again, Montego Bay not going forward as quickly as Arnett. They come all the way back. To goalkeeper Barrett. And they make it Edwards. Oldham's first touch is a very good one. He decides to go for a goal. Comes off a punter. And the left foot it was very, very good play from Curl, who just now though, to draw that foul, using his body smartly to protect the ball and ensure that there was no. But Montego Bay United had a couple of chances to get the ball out of danger to Montego Bay. 39th minute. Half time, we usually have a couple of features to, for you. Tonight is no different. And you look at uh, some Curlew. Fought off, fought off by Hyde, who tries to get it back to Hyde. Nicholas Samponsa gets it to Nicholas Stewart. Back to Nicholas. So one Nicholas to the other, and back to another Nicholas. Must be a foul. Oh, handle ball. I thought Martin would have been called for pushing at the back. But. I thought so myself. This player, Amponsa, definitely is quality, never. I mean, in terms of his ball play. Smooth, eh? Very, very smooth. Dale Richie gives it to Marvin Morgan, who has not been that involved. Anderson makes a run. Morgan decides to go for goal. Oh! Chance here for Arnett to put it in, and they do. It's 1 0. Barrett had absolutely no clue to that first strike from Morgan. Really wicked shot hitting the bar, coming back out, or the post, I should say. Uh, the entire Montego Bay defensive unit was very, very slow to react. And just as I said, Amponso looks pretty good on the ball. He was called upon to defend. Half-time whistle with Arnett, leading 1-0. And uh, Barrett stays home. Chance here for Russell to put it in. Corner kick. Again, when they come forward, they look dangerous, Arnett guards. Definitely so. And Montego Bay United definitely not dealing with the ball, the, the, the balls, the eyeballs at the back very well. That ball definitely had not. Edwards. Oh, little cheeky pass, tried to get it to Oldham, it's broken up. First minute off, time added on. This is on the Anderson. To Martin. Again, will he go for a, another little run? Broken up this time by Amponsa. Here's Nicholas Amponsa, gets it to, to Keneal Curlew. Um, in terms of the side that they are operating from, since they have done that, they it, have lost their worked, effectiveness. Right. It has a lot. You know, and, and then being a little bit more decisive going forward, I would want to bring back the number six player, Leslie, on the left hand side of the park and just be patient. After we haven't seen any substitutions, Ladera Ritchie. And plays it inside to Nicholas Amponsa. And he gets it to Nicholas Stewart. And a whole lot of time on their own team. Speaking of Pep Guardiola. Yeah, well. You heard. Three against two in the middle of the, the field. If they would just keep the ball inside the orbit and then try to get the Montego Bay, the, the Arnett team outside. Yep. Inside, sorry. Here's Russell. Kevin Reed gives him the return pass. Nicholas Stewart. Broken up by Anderson. Here comes Olam. Offside. Easy call. Easy call from Miss Yeasing. And I, again, I told you last week, I, the way the assistant referee pulls the flag tells the referee where the offside is. You just saw Miss Yeasing holding the flag almost well, parallel to the ground, which means that the call is in the middle of the park. If she had pointed to the ground in front of her, it would be closer to her. And then she put it up to the sky, not straight up, but then it would have been on the far side. Very, very good. Landison, no call. Richie does well again and gets it back to Jacqueline Barrett. Richie really looking accomplished and looking the part as a national player. Yep. Whole lot of time for the day, Richie. Hyde tries to get it to Olam. I think it probably was on the foul and Jabor Johnson who was just in front of the Arnett bench. Here's Amponsa. First time I'm seeing 
going for a little run and maybe that's the reason he hasn't gone for too many looks like he almost blocked fabian reed just now reed looked to the referee didn't get the call certainly not the ball played through he's on side there's leslie back to st floor st floor is saying where is the help gets it from ambosley gets in and Ponsa involved so Oldham I think will be the man that's pulled will be pulled out that was a beautiful ball by Amponsa just now yep. for St. Floor he should have gotten his foot onto this ball seen it here again he just probably didn't expect it really beautiful ball getting right over the top of the Arnegan's defensive line good first touch from Adele Ritchie Calmly gets it to Amponsa. Nicholas Stewart. Goal is probably the only thing that separates the players in terms of a man of the match situation. Amponsa. So here's Anderson. Again, it's blocked. That's the second one. Here he goes for the run, but he gets it back to Stewart and puts it to Amponsa. He was a crack. And does the to Lydia Ritchie. To the keep in possession. You understand that you're going to have a, a whopping five minutes of time to be added. And he's also had a good game. And Ponsa back to Lydia Ritchie. Back to Dwayne Ambersley. 